it's one of those opportunities, rare opportunities we get to showcase our small community to the world, really. Uh, with Race Across America, there's just, this year we have 15 different countries participating. We've seen people from all over the world and I started out doing this over 20 years ago. I got kind of pulled into it and it's addictive once you get started. You just want to come back over and over and over again. Uh, so the Chamber of Commerce kind of uh, here in Ulysses organizes everything and uh, gets the volunteers and uh, gets the facilities uh, for this. And technically, I mean, I don't think we have to do this, but everyone involved enjoys it. And it's a uh, it's an event. We get to, I mean, I spoke uh, at length with a fellow from the Netherlands yesterday and from Germany and from Switzerland and from Italy all in one day. And so it's like we're taking a little world tour uh, at the same time. So it's, it's important to those of us who enjoy that kind of thing. And I think the community has been really receptive to it, but uh, we just enjoy meeting the people and seeing the racers. <laughs> kind of the interesting thing there is everyone wants to know what's going to happen or where the storm is and the other thing they want to know is how the storm is affecting their competition so they want to see <laughs> where their competition is and if they're in the storm or if they got past the storm i've been doing this since the days of yuri robish and uh christoph strasser and seen some of the greats come through and it's uh i think I think one of my favorite parts is talking to the teams about their particular strategy because everyone has a plan to start and then hearing how that plan has evolved as they've gotten halfway through the race. So we have, uh, well, we have a pool uh, when it gets warm enough for people to cool down in. Uh, the fire, the Grant County Fire Department loans us their building for the four or five days and volunteers bring in cookies and muffins and candy and snacks and we provide cold drinks and fruit. We have places for people to lay down, take a nap if they want to get out of the RV. We have uh, coffee, of course, restrooms. And then the other thing we've done is we've put together a pretty comprehensive map of the area because over the years, people have asked us for things like, where can we go do laundry? Or where can we dump our gray water? Or where can we go take a shower? And so we have a map put together that has all those things. So when that, whatever, whatever they need, we can direct them to it. We've even gone as far as um, we have an auto parts store across the street that has said, if someone has a breakdown in the middle of the night, give me a call, we'll come down and take care of them. So we try to, as you do this for 20 years, you kind of learn all the little things that people need or want when they get this far in the race. And we just try to provide that for them. We have a Facebook page called Time Station 23 Ulysses, Kansas. And uh, this is our first year for doing it. I don't know why it took us this long to figure out we needed a Facebook page, but it's been very popular and uh, people are linking stuff there. So go take a look.